All right. Well, I don't know when the term the information superhighway was uh, phrased or coined. Uh, I just remember uh, the first time hearing it was probably in the late 80s, early 90s. And uh, it really was a the potential for the information superhighway. And then all of a sudden, you know, we had social media and it was the Wild West to what you could put out there and the information that you could put out there. Uh, and then all of a sudden, the powers that be uh, started to uh, uh, say, hey, this is uh, this is not proper thought and we have to uh, control this because we don't want the I mean we don't want we don't think the public is intelligent enough to decipher sorry good or bad information and uh, I just remember the early days of places like 4chan and uh, other, you know, you know, the, the birth of the information superhighway when we started to become connected to each other, and uh, uh, you know, I've I've gotten a chip on my shoulder about the types of leftist censorship, and that's primarily where it comes from. Uh, it's it's really angered me and. You know, I'm I'm a film buff and a little bit of a film historian, and I remember uh, the history of like things like the Hayes Code and the Legion of Decency, and uh, a lot of these leftist groups, these so-called civil rights groups, um, really are just, uh, kind of byproducts of the Hayes Code, and they have their own. Uh, uh, you know, their own faith and religion. I mean, the Legion of Decency was primarily Catholics, and, uh, you know, the ADL is primarily Jewish, but uh, other Christians believe in uh, kind of the woke le leftism that they kind of promote. Anyway, Joey, do you have a response to what I have said and uh, and what I have spoken? So, so I'll, I'll, go I'll go on. Yeah, I'd like to add, I mean, there's not much to add. You kind of nailed it. The left certainly has swung so far into the weirdness. And uh, and I never would have thought that that segment when I was young, when I was in high school, I'd say, when I started to see different stratas of life, I didn't realize that 30 years down the road or whatever, that they would be the ones telling us to shut up. I, it surprises me. And they are, they are acting in, in, in a way that absolutely doesn't solve any problems, just creates more conflict, more uh, division, and, and a lot more um, of this kind of stratification. And it's, uh, it's kind of sad that the, the, the extremes of the stratas have, have been pushed so far apart. It's unbelievable. That's it. You know, uh, and then maybe you want to add on this, and then we'll show and make it really a nice short show. But I remember uh, Frank Zappa, uh, when they were putting labels, when, when conservatives and uh, wanted to put labels on um, on uh, on records, and uh, I remember Frank Zappa said, basically, uh, the uh, the right wants to censor anything that is offensive to Christians, and uh, the left now, anything that they label uh, hate speech, anything that they label what they quote unquote call uh, white supremacy. And again, I remember the ADL said, uh, when, if we talk about uh, white South Africans, uh, the murder of white South African farmers, that's a quote unquote white dog whistle. Like uh, whites have a, you know, like, you know, like they have a dog whistle uh, to whistle 
at uh, certain groups. And we're the only, uh, white people are the only group uh, that are labeled with a dog whistle and are, uh, are too dangerous to speak and give their opinion because it might uh, inspire uh, somebody crazy. Uh, like outliers don't exist in all communities, but uh, whites are particularly uh, to blame for their outliers. But, of course, other groups are not. Anyway, Joey, do you have anything to say? Will we end this short and wonderful show? Yeah, let's keep it short and to the point. I think we're good uh, on that end. Yeah, and again, uh, all groups, uh, the, both conservatives and, 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 and liberals, but these aren't liberals. These are primarily leftist, uh, but they do uh, they do have control over the establishment and uh, over the uh, over what you see and what you hear, and not only only. I, so you don't you don't see how it's just all bit one big team at the at the top. No, you see a division there. If I may, uh, I see that there are people who help out the team, uh, but I, I, I think there are uh, two groups, or actually three groups. One are fanatical true believers. The other, the second group are semi, semi believe it, but, you know, don't really get too much into the weeds. And then the third are afraid and are terrorized by the fanatical true believers. And, uh, yeah, these people are like, they call them the woke Taliban because they go after you, uh, primarily financially, uh, but they'll all, they can also go after you physically. These are fanatical, uh, the fanatical left, uh, uh, they have no bounds as far as, uh, the things that they will do. Anyway, Joey, is there anything to add before I uh, call it a day? Anything else? Anything else? Well, it's, I think conservatives cannot sleep on this, and they cannot act uh, in a equally foolish way. And they've got to be smart, and they've got to be knowledgeable. More, more, even more so than smart. I think they need just to be knowledgeable. And I think there's a difference. And I, um, yeah. Just uh, think smarter, not harder. And I think that, um, you know, may maybe there could be some, some resolution. But I, I, And I think that's the ultimate goal is resolution. But that's all I got. Yeah, I think the best thing to do is uh, do uh, strategic economic boycotts and find other alternatives, financial art alternatives than these far woke companies. Uh they need to be uh, they need to be punished for their behavior, and uh, again, my walk against the woke campaign um, is striving to do just that. It is peaceful, and uh, it is primarily uh, an economic kind of thing. Uh, I think we should uh, talk with our currency, not with our fist, and uh, with our words and our currency. Not with our fists, not by shouting or yelling, not even really uh, about marching. Anyway, this has been Brian with Transparency and Merit. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I tweet this uh, show out on uh, two of my Twitter, uh, three of my Twitter pages. Uh, one is Walk Against the Woke, which is Walk uh, at Walk Woke. And uh, the other one is Mr. Midnight Movie. The other one is uh, Transparency and Merit. And those are the three. And then I go, I have ones on mines as well. Anyway, thank you for listening. And uh, remember to have an open mind. And if I said or uh, did anything that you believe is inaccurate, please uh, mention it. Thank you very much.